Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. I'm out this morning with my trusty Theoban Rapid in 177 calibre. On top of it is the Arkan Zulus Digital Scope. I'm launching H&N Barracuda Hunter Extremes, as per usual. I've got myself all set up in the woodland first light. Just listening to the woodpeckers and all the other bird life. The various other sounds around me. It's quite restful. Early morning in the woodland. You can hear a woodpecker. And you can hear the sound of a green woodpecker, I'm not mistaken. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments and tell me what it was if I'm wrong. Anyway, down to nitty gritty. I zeroed this yesterday. I'm taking a test shot. Got the Arkham Zulus up on 20 mag. Zero is still true. I've chosen the white reticule as you see. And I'm just sat waiting for a squirrel to appear. Watching the local bird life. I think that's a great tit. Normally put a bit of wheat on the ledge. There's a lake nearby as you can hear the geese. It's quite a cacophony of noise. I did film quite a bit of it. Just to try and give the experience of being here with me. You can see it hasn't quite sprung back into life even though it's spring. A few plants trying to show themselves. Lots of woodpeckers battering the trees, trying to get a bit of grub for breakfast. I'm not sure if it sounds that loud to you, but it certainly sounded loud in the woodland. And my microphone picked it up from inside the hide as well as I could hear it. See the sun's now got up a little bit higher. Pretty much level with the ground, penetrating the wood. Hopefully the squirrels will turn up. Last time I came, I didn't get any luck till about 10 o'clock. And today turned out to be just the same. So that tells me I've pretty much wiped out the local population and the only ones come in are ones travelling from a distance. Lots of bird life coming to the spilt grain. I don't begrudge them a, a free feed. I just kept me occupied while I was waiting for the squirrels to turn up. Today's video will be quite a short one. So I only get three in the end. I pretty much condensed my morning down into a short video for you all to see. The weather's been atrocious in the UK. That coupled with a few personal things I've got going on that are now being unravelled and sorted out has stopped me going shooting. Hopefully the weather's going to pick up soon and we can all get out a lot more often. You can see people on the forums I'm on the Facebook with starting to produce good bags of squirrels. It's an interesting bit of video. I've seen this before in other places. It's an attack from wedging some wheat down inside the bark to keep it for later. Not exactly the best hiding place. I would imagine the other birds would see it quite easily. I've seen some movement. There's a squirrel. This has taken me several hours to sit in there. Got there at first light. And it's now just before 10 a.m. The squirrels come in and I'm trying to get the camera sorted out. Got the rifle sat on my shooting sticks. So I only have to lift it to my shoulder from about hip height where I'm sat. I can take a shot when it appears. I normally fast forward these types of shenanigans, but it's quite short video, so you can suffer with me. Starts playing peekaboo with me, popping his head out. Quite frustrating, really, because I thought first one up would have come straight into the feeder. Obviously not. I'm tempted to take the shot here. It keeps bobbing back in, then disappears, to the point where I turn the video off. Then I have to hurriedly turn it on and try and move it because I've seen another squirrel come in from the right this time. You get two at once. 
That's probably why the other one disappeared, possibly. That was what I was thinking at the time. Just gonna wait for this one to come in to feed. Oh look, there's the first ones appeared from beyond the tree. So after all this time there was two there. Just goes to show patience is a virtue. The only trouble when you get another one running around like that is it sometimes spooks the first one. Just like that. And then he knows the dominant one. He's coming in the sap perfectly feeding. That's probably why the first one decided to hide. I'm going to get these shenanigans and I'm going to you off the side of the tree. Good connection. And down to the ground he goes. You just see the tail flipping. Check out the link in the description from Ted's video of why they kick when they're shot like that. I show the footing from the Arkan Zulus. I think I knocked it back to about 12 times mag now. I think. That was the bit I was busily watching the first squirrel before it was usurped by the bully squirrel. I was waiting for the shot to appear. Obviously he went and sat on the side of the tree so to my annoyance I shot him there. There he is. I'm tracking him with a scope. Bleeds all over the place. I'm not sure if that's the first squirrel come back, but it is a squirrel. So after several hours waiting, the action suddenly started. And once I got the camera sorted, I have to pick up the rifle and just check everything's going, set the video to record just so I can make you a little video. And I've got to make sure I'm happy with the way they're feeding. Ideally, you should hit every single one you shoot if they sit like this. Here we go. This time. 177 pellet, perfectly placed, because a dead squirrel. See the legs kick in. Got it in shot this time. The normal reaction, indicating a good headshot. Now over to the Ark and Zulus. Don't know what you all think of the white crosshair. I thought I'd try that for a change and only put a red one on. I think I can see it a little bit better on the darker head, to be honest. Let me know what you think in the comments. Go on, son. So you almost did it. I'm waiting for it. The crosshairs are approximately where his head will be if he sits up. But then I was changing my mind. Those head movements, just too much, really. There we go. Perfect. I was quickly on to him because I wasn't far away. I do like a straight on headshot. Scroll number three. That little pile of sticks is a makeshift body stopper. It's going to sat behind it now. These are the things you have to put up with when you're waiting for a squirrel to come in. Now and again with the bodies on the ground. Some squirrels will show a bit of a fear for them. But usually the belly gets them. The belly grumbling. They know there's a source of food. That's it, son. Make your mind up. It seems to be looking at me rather intently. I am in a tent. It wasn't an attempt at a pun. He's looking directly at me. He's in a very shootable position if he stays like that. I was pretty much banking that he was going to run up and jump on the feeder at this point. What I do is I tend to hunker down in the middle of the hide and watch the camera display and see what he's doing then. And when they run up to the feeder I normally then raise the rifle. I'm sort of staying there for quite a while, 
I'm starting to think, if he doesn't move on there, if he's going to sit there, I'm going to shoot him where he is. You can hear me chair creaking as I decide to shift towards the rifle and lift that rifle up, home in on him. Knock him straight off. Sometimes when they look calm like that, that's the thing to do. There's barely any head movements off of him. That was my last squirrel for the day. See the tail flicking about. I have to kick back a little bit so I can see him with the camera. This is what I could see. Absolutely frozen solid. Straight in the ear hole. And that's the end of my little video. I hope you liked it. Three on the deck. Not a bad start for 2024. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.